so this is sim 800 module uh, it has 12 pins but today we are using only 4 pins they are TX pin, RX pin, VCC pin and ground pin so let's see what are the pins that we can see in this module so they have mentioned the pin here ground pin, TX pin, RX pin, boot pin, VCC pin and network pin so these pins are for uh, connecting microphones and other speakers uh, uh, today we are not talking about those pins uh, so those are the pins we are only using negative pin, positive pin and TX and RX pins uh, there is a specialty in this module uh, unlike other series of sim 800 modules this is sim 800 c c module uh, there are uh, other modules like sim 800 l and others uh, as this is sim 800 c model we must uh, connect this ground pin with boot pin to turn on this module in other modules we don't need that Uh, and there is a small antenna soldered to this net pin this antenna also comes with this module we can solder it to the net pin of this module this is the sim slot in here we should enter the sim now let's see how we should enter the sim so this is my sim card and we should enter the sim in this way so this is the notch enter the sim here and it will lock okay. uh, when we are considering about power supply to this module we should supply a voltage between 3.7 volts to 4.2 volts uh, you should never exceed 4.2 volts because this module is so sensitive uh, we can easily damage this so never supply 5 volt to this pin to this module uh, and uh, some people try to supply voltage to this module by this 5 volt pin of this Arduino uh, never do that that will definitely burn your module never do that you should use a external power source for this today I am using 18 650 battery to supply power to this module it has already 3.7 volt and it is safe to supply 3.7 volt to this module so we can easily so, uh, so we can use this battery ok let's see how to connect the power and Arduino to the GSM module so we can so we can use a breadboard for this purpose to make connections let's see how we can connect the module to Arduino so I am connecting the GSM module to the breadboard like this so when we are powering the GSM module we should attach a capacitor for this uh, in here I am using a 2200 UF capacitor 
we are using this with the positive and negative pins of GSM module. So I am connecting negative pin of GSM module with breadboard and the positive pin of GSM module with the other rail and then we should at the capacitor the negative side of capacitor with negative pin and the positive pin of capacitor with positive pin like this okay i connect battery supply to this circuit this is positive wire and i connect it like this and this is negative wire from battery and I connect it like this. Now observe the blinking rate of LED. It blinks so fast and after registering to a network it start to blink slowly. It is not yet registered to a network. So now you can see it blinks slowly. That means it has successfully registered to a network if this module if this led does not slow down its blink rate that means the module is not connected with network that means there is an issue with your sim or you don't have certain coverage in your area so try to swap a new sim so try to put another sim to this module so now we have to connect the Arduino to the GSM module so like this I am connecting the negative wire TXP and the RXP like this and the negative wire to the ground of Arduino. and TX pin to the pin 2 of Arduino and RX pin to the pin 3 in Arduino like this so that is how we should connect the, make the connection 